Selamat pagi Bapak Ibu Check sound Satu, dua, tiga Selamat pagi Kepada audiens yang saat ini hadir secara langsung di KJRI Melbourne Ataupun yang menyaksikan secara live di kanal Youtube KJRI Melbourne Selamat pagi Kepada audiens yang saat ini hadir secara langsung di KJRI Melbourne Ataupun yang menyaksikan secara live di kanal Youtube KJRI Melbourne
Ini
cek sorry bro cek satu sama Pak William udah Oke oke. Mas Oki ya. Siapa? Enggak
everyone can i have everyone to please be seated if you guys still haven't got your snack please grab your snack and then have a seat we are going to start shortly okay everyone grab a coffee grab some snacks grab a seat the um, event will start shortly and yeah just relax <laughs> okay uh, selamat pagi para 
Bapak-bapak dan ibu-ibu semuanya Selamat datang di uh, Konsulat Jenderal Republik of Indonesia Right, okay. good morning everyone Woo. Guys, this is still morning, okay On the count of three, can I have everyone to say Selamat pagi, okay One, two, three Selamat pagi One more time, one, two, three Selamat pagi Alright, that's the spirit uh, yeah. Right, everyone, welcome to Spice Up Melbourne Hosted by celebrity chef William Wong So Yeah, yeah Now, before we start, let us introduce ourselves, okay? My name is Vincent. My name is Oki. All right, now I am a representative from AYA. I am in professional program. Saya dari KJRI Melbourne. Yeah. And yeah, like, we'll, I will be talking part English, part in there. I yeah. hope you guys don't mind with that, yeah? Saya nggak bisa bahasa Inggris. Nah, it's kidding. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. It's kidding. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, before we start, um, I am going to um, speak on behalf of Isi. So Isi is the president of Aya, Aya Victoria. Unfortunately, she can't be here today because she got the <coughs> spicy cough, if you guys <laughs> get what I mean. <laughs> right, now, um, just a brief introduction about Aya, if you guys are not aware of us. We are a non-profit Australian Indonesian organization. Our goal is very simple, is to create a strong relationship between Indonesia and Australia, and this is one of them. So, Aya Victoria, in collaboration with celebrity chef William Wongso, and also with Conjan RE, we are doing some great stuff for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys learn a lot. All right. Thank you, Aya. <laughs> oh, okay, well, 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 well. Biar tidak terlalu kaku, acara ini simple saja. Ini seperti demo masak. Tapi yang demo masak sekarang adalah living legend, Om. William Wongso. Can we give a big applause? One more time, guys. Come on. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, can we invite Ibu Mantarina Herlianti, the president of DWP, to come forward and give a few words for us? Can we give a big yeah. applause? Woo! Ibu DWP kita, Ibu Iin, panggilan Sapa. Ini ya, silakan Ibu. Terima kasih. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Salam sejahtera bagi kita semua Om Swastiastu, Nama Budaya, Salam Kebajikan Dear Honorable Bapak Kunci We give appreciation and thanks to President of the Australia Indonesian Youth Association, AYA, Victoria, Committee and Member of Indonesia, Indonesian Ladies Association of the Indonesian Consulate General in Melbourne or Dharma Wanita Kajiri Melbourne, Mrs. Corina, Head Chef and Owner of Garam Berica Melbourne, Chef Indonesian Food Ambassador, Mr. William Wongso, and ladies and gentlemen. Indonesian food is a collection of various regional culinary tradition that form the archipelagic nation of Indonesia. Indonesian cuisine often demonstrates complex flavor acquired from certain ingredients and bumbu spices mixtures. Indonesian food have rich flavors, most often described as savory, hot, and spicy, and also combination of basic tastes such as sweet, salty, sour, and bitter. Some popular Indonesian dishes such as rendang, nasi goreng, satay, and soto are ubiquitous in the country and are considered national dishes. Today, some popular dishes that originated in Indonesia now common to neighboring countries and other countries especially in Melbourne, Australia. Acknowledge that Melbourne is perfect city to promote Indonesian food because Australia culinary capital, a multicultural city and foodie city. There are more or less about 3,500 restaurants from 70 countries. There are more than 40 Indonesian restaurants in Victoria, nine caterings and around six cafes. This fact provides an opportunity for
for the government of Indonesia to promote Indonesian culinary and support the program called Indonesia Spice Up the World. In line with the vision of promoting Indonesian culinary abroad, we are the WPKJRI Melbourne, a community organization that collecting and fostering the spouses of civil servants with activities in the fields of education, economy, and socioculture. Indonesia culinary promotion activities carried out by Dharma Wanita Melbourne such as Klepon Workshop at Alun-Alun PPIA Victoria Melbourne held on 29 July 2022 on the on day pastel and rujak serut cooking demo held on 16th July 2022 and 101 tempe making in Melbourne held in 11 December 2021. Today's event is also attended by committee and member of DWP, Kajari Melbourne. Hopefully, we get knowledge and insight, especially Indonesian culinary, from chef and Indonesian food ambassador, Mr. William Wongso. Thank you and enjoy the program. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Terima kasih kita tahu kepada Ibu DWP kita, Ibu Iin. Kita akan menikmati dari kota kamera. Oh, feedback. Oke, okay, selanjutnya kita minta sambutan dari yang punya rumah, Bapak Konsul Jenderal Republik Indonesia untuk Melbourne, untuk Victoria dan Tasmania, Bapak Kuncoro Waseso. Waktu dan tempat kita silakan. What's up, guys? Thank you to the anak muda aja, what's up guys? <laughs> Look, um, everybody, good morning, very good morning. Nice weather, but cold here, by the way. The temperature just really dropped, but I hope you enjoy everything. I'm going to tell you a story of this building first, rather than I'm going up the program. You are now in a very beautiful front yard of Indonesian Consulate General. It was built in 1925. And then around 1970s, it was recorded to the City Council of Melbourne. And then it became also one of the cultural heritage of City Council of Melbourne. It used to be also the headquarter of Melbourne Scouts. And then in 1992, the government of the Republic of Indonesia bought this building. It belonged to us. And now it is our pride. So you are very welcome at this very historical building. <laughs> now we come up to the program. Pa William Wongso, are you going to stand up beside me? Because I'm not going to talk alone. All right. Here's the person actually. I said thank to him. A living legend of chef from Indonesia. Pak William Wongso. Pak William, terima kasih banyak. We call it Indonesia Spice Up the World. Now here in Melbourne, Indonesia Spice Up Australia. Melbourne or Australia. Why? Because Melbourne is the capital city of culinary of Australia. Melbourne is also the coffee capital of Australia. Melbourne is also the event capital of Australia. Everything is here. Okay? Now we have Willy Wongso. And we are very honored to have him to show how well he well he, he makes everything that come to be a delicious one with the authentic uh, taste. Okay. Hopefully, what we are having right now will up spread up on anything here from Indonesia, and you are really the ambassador of Indonesia to make a close contact between people to people, and we are going to enjoy everything. I'm not going to talk long, but. Uh, what are you going to cook uh, today, Pak pa William? I'm I'm not cooking today. You're not cooking. I'm sharing. You are sharing. <laughs> you are sharing. Sharing some Indonesian food knowledge. All right, very to good. To make the all Indonesian life easier in in Australia, and as in the same time having very authentic taste of Indonesia. Yeah, this is what I'm coming here. As what you said, 
uh, I'm coming here for Indonesia Spice Up Australia. Terima kasih Bang Sol. Terima kasih banyak. So we are going to be present anymore and then we are going to wait for that one. Terima kasih. So you're going to uh, Pak pa Vincent and Pak Oppa. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, sebelum kita masuk ke acara sharing makan-makan bersama Pak William Wongso, tema kita pada hari ini apa, Bung Vision? Aduh, apa ya? Um, so today we'll be cooking some Indonesian foods. Now, um, I will not spoil what kind of cooking it is, right? Mr. William Wongso and the team will. You know, demonstrate, and you guys can see what the cooking feels like. But it will be authentic Indonesian food, yep. and I believe everyone will love it. Yeah, but it must be in. Ah, Like it must be spicy and hot because it's super cold in here. Oh, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> okay, sebelum saya panggil Chef William Wongso ke depan, saya ingin melihat antusias para masyarakat Indonesia dan juga ada beberapa tamu-tamu kita yang boleh, yeah. Good day, mate. <laughs> uh, so enjoy uh, your uh, what, what, what you call uh, <laughs> enjoy your show, yeah. Uh, no uh, your show, you love William it. Wong's show. Okay, <laughs> it's very cold here. Uh, so kita panggil aja uh, Pak William Wong so dan teman-temannya. All right. Depan. So can I have Mr. William Wong so, Ibu Faridah, Ibu Ade Putri. Ibu Tati Karlin and Ibu Karina. Ibu stage. Karina. Ibu yeah. Karina okay. Right, everyone. Please come. Okay. Test, test. Okay. Silakan. Sudah, sudah. Okay. I have a clip on. Good morning. Thank you, Pak Konjen. Okay. Uh, for sure, this is my first time in my life cooking in the winter, outdoors. <laughs> Should be well noted for every of my team. This is Ade, this is Farida, Batati, Corina. They they come together. This is not a, not a teaching, but I like to share some tricky innovation of cooking to, as I said, to make your life easier and your palate still feel at home. As you know, Indonesia is, uh, is within 17,000 island. It's a span of 5,000 kilometers. 34 provinces with the sub with villages and whatnot. I don't think anybody <coughs> in 10 lifetime can ever taste everything what the what the regional cooking you can ever taste. And uh, during the hype of social media, I believe everybody can Google everything. But one thing you can Google taste. So for the last few years, I have many food enthusiasts coming to Indonesia, ask me my advice, how to learn Indonesian cooking. So I can only wait to advise them to go to the region to learn from the origin. Once you know the origin, then you can play around after. But, the, but this time, during this hype of social media, what happened is a lot of uh, younger generation chefs or cooks, they learn a lot from social media but they never been to the place of origin. So what they do, 
is what they call fusion. What happened with the fusion? Confusion. <laughs> so I don't want to do any confusion today with you. This is a mission of a Minister of uh, Coordination of Maritime and Investment. We call it Spice Up Indonesia, Spice Up the World. If you want to Indonesia, Indonesian spice space, not there are a lot of misunderstanding about the word of spice even in Indonesia. When we say spice up, a lot of uh, department in Indonesia they consider, oh, we are the best in the world. We are, we are the the producer of the spices. Not, we know, we for 300 years the Dutch occupied Indonesia for the spices but not the spice base. What we are talking about is the spice base. In the spice base, it's made from fresh ingredients. There are some percentage of spice, dry spices. The dry spices is varied. The percentage in the total spice base depends on the region. In the eastern island of Indonesia, where the origin of the spices, you can see on the cooking, the spice use is very, very limited, or they even don't use it. They all use fresh chili. Fresh, when I say chili, is chili, galanga, shallot, garlic, ginger, camphoria, uh, uh, galanga, and many, many things else. To blend into, into a concoction, and they cook to saute until it becomes very aromatic like what you can see on the market we call it bumbu we can be bumbu rendang bumbu gulai kepala ikan bumbu kare bumbu rawon bumbu soto ayam and what not and now with this program we start to introduce not the complete bumbu but individual like the chili paste, the galanga, the, the shallot, everything. What I found out, the shallot in Australia is totally different than what we have in Indonesia. The ginger is so expensive, sometimes can be $70, right? To play around with those ingredients in Australia, it is very, very expensive. First, you have to pay 25, 20 to $25 an hour just to pull and clean the chili, not to the process to make a paste, not the next process to cook, to saute the paste until it's aromatic. Yet, I have my experience to observe all these spices that you can get in Australia or somewhere else are not from Indonesia. What is the difference? They are hybrid. They grow faster. In Indonesia, they ask, what do you mean by hybrid of Kalanga, hybrid of chili, hybrid of lemongrass? I make a comparison. I am kampung and I am broiler. A food and chicken, it takes six months. The broil, it takes three weeks you can eat. So the result, of course, the quality and the taste. So today, I'd like to, sh to show you the simple way to cook Indonesian food with Indonesian spice paste. And later you can taste the result and how practical. So what we want to do first? Now, we cook, we do the soto betawi. I cannot cook everything today, but just to you the principle. Soto betawi, I, I asked Corina to find beef chick. Anybody familiar, you, you might be familiar, but a lot of Indonesians not that familiar with the beef chick. For me to make a soup, to make rawon, to make soto, the best part of the beef is beef chick. Because it has more collagen, 
it's kind of chewy but very fine and tender though it's how we the way you cook it that one maybe uh, they can what is uh, the beef chip we already this is the beef chip it's uh, already boiled where is the stuff So you just boil the beef chip. You boil the beef chip, but remember when you put the beef chip. Yeah. Whenever you boil the beef, you boil, you discharge the first, the first the liquid, and you add. Some more cold water start to do it slowly. Remember okay. to cook on the medium temperature. Don't cook like a tsunami. Why well, Indonesia like to cook? With, if you're not boiling like <laughs> like a disastrous, that is not cooking. No, you destroy the meat textures. You destroy the meat texture. So this uh, this uh, beef cheek already been cooked yesterday until tender you just add you just add this is the soto soto betawi spice paste from indonesia i was i will uh, distribute you can smell Right, you just add. Very simple. I'm not playing magic. Normally, it take five hours to do it. You have to buy to the market. <laughs> right? Sometimes they have, sometimes they don't have. So what you do is sometimes shortcut. Oh, the don't matter. The the Australian doesn't know it. <laughs> So we just do shortcut. Normally ten ingredients, now only four. Oh, we add two, and then add some MSG, everything. Oh, this is good soup. <laughs> That's the way how commercially cook. Yeah, and and remember, when you are here, you don't think this is only soto betawi. You can use this to do. Other dish like empal, you do chunky, you make tender, and for empal you add some more brown sugar, some uh, down salam and serai, and then you do it. You make empal. If you don't, if you want to do fried chicken, you can do simmer the chicken in this spice, in this broth. Then you to do you can do fried chicken, right? So this is this is uh, the soto batari first, and the rest you add the condiment. And today, I just only to to show you. Some people now in in even in Indonesia, they say I don't want to eat santan. First, they are afraid of cholesterol. Nothing wrong with santan, as long as you don't drink the santan three times a day, right? <laughs> So we are today. We don't use santan, but we use uh, what we call it fiber cream. It's a creamer to replace the santan. First, the benefit is when you use santan. Sometimes for catering, you cook for for five hours before delivery, and then it will ferment. Or you freeze it, you heat it up, it break. So it doesn't the stock doesn't looks good. This one is the last minute, like you before you drink coffee. You just top up, All right? This is this is basically like like it's uh, the basic stock is done, and then later on when we serve, we add the condiment, uh, the shallot, the the chopped down bawang. What is it? What do you call it? Down bawang? Spring onion, 
or you can add also the uh, celery leaf then don't forget fried shallot sometimes ketchup manis you can add also the ketchup manis right not everything use ketchup manis i hate to cook fried rice with ketchup manis ketchup manis is always on the side as a condiment not as ingredient for nasi goreng i'll show you how to how to deal with this okay this is done right this is done later on you don't have to look at the recipe you use your taste right so once like this You just. This is why the cream and what is, is uh, plant -based. uh plant based and also uh, gluten free. You can add. You want to say, oh, can I add some milk? You can. Food. In the in the combination of the concoction is you have to know the basic taste. The rest you can play around, All right? Mm. Okay. This is basically done. We will let you taste after it. There should be adding the. Uh, the condiment is the lime. Yeah. Don't forget the umping. Everybody knows umping and ketchup manis. Okay, let me alone. I want you to put Mbak uh, Tati to show you one thing about Asinan Jakarta. I think everyone can do Asinan Jakarta. But I want to show you the, the, the basic trick. The ingredients of base, basic uh, as in Jakarta you do from fresh is chili, carrot, garlic, garlic and if you are not vegan, if you are allergy to shrimp, you can add some dry or ebi or dry shrimp right okay you boil this until soft and then and with the abby this is this is also abby i don't know how oh this is rabon for seasoning you blend until Make it a spice in a paste like this. All right. You can do by heart to do this. Fifty percent, fifty to fifty percent uh, red chili, the big one, and uh, thirty percent garlic, or twenty percent garlic and twenty percent uh, uh, abi. Right. If someone say, I don't want chili, my children cannot take chili, you do with red bell pepper. Easy. All right? This is after the blend. So, let me but just put this. I'm experienced cooking while sh shivering. Okay? This is a paste. Now the trick is like this. If you have a recipe of this Asinan Jakarta from Indonesia and you do it in Australia, it must be something wrong. Because one thing is different, the sugar. The sweetness of the sugar, Indonesia, Australia, US, everything is all different. 
So what we do, we do is, but what you do now, first you add the sugar. You don't have to look at recipe. One indication, uh, uh, what, what I call it, the sweetness is uh, above, much above the, the sugar you put in your tea. This is uh, it's very sweet. This is for Indonesia. Indonesian like to have sweetness, sweetness up front, and then sour after. This is I say the trick for Indonesian first. You start with sugar. Kemanisan. It's very very sweet. Now where is the sugar? Bulai mana? No no. Okay, you do you taste? You do it first is very very bahasa Indonesia ini kemanisan. Kemanisan. Don't worry about that. And then you cut down the sweetness by adding vinegar. Don't do sour vinegar. Do like this you never end until tomorrow. So you do first is the sweetness and then you cut down with the with the vinegar and then you add the salt. You must taste, taste salty. And then by adding half ripe fruit, the fruit will spell the moisture. It will tone down the whole thing. If you just do it, okay, little manis and little asam, when you put the whole thing, is what the Indonesian call cewer. It's no taste. All right. So, I put the sugar, uh, one, uh, one tablespoon. No, 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 not enough. No, 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 much more. Okay. Much more. Three or four seeds. Three or four seeds. No. Okay. Indonesian cooking, we love sweet because we are sweet. Don't worry, you have to do it more. One more. No. Okay, well, okay. but Tati is doing this. I want Farida to do the rendang. The same. This is rendang paste from Indonesia. The ratio, the good one, you only need 100 gram to one kilo and one and a half liter of coconut cream. Remember, coconut cream, not coconut milk. With the irrigation, 24% fat, not 18% fat. Coconut milk is second price. When you do a light coconut cooking or sweet, then you can use uh, some uh, coconut milk. All right. What do you think, ba? Is no, sweet enough? For me, it's sweet enough. Well, let me taste. Let me taste. It's very nice. More sweet. <laughs> as sweet as Pak William. <laughs> Ibu, you come and taste. No, no. Ini asinan Jakarta, but you, you take a spoon. You show me sugar first. The key is the sugar first, yeah? Manis, Pak. Manis. Asam juga. Okay. Don't worry about this. We will balance. Now you taste. Okay. Farida is going to cook a uh, rendang, but this time the shortcut rendang it means lamb. People mindset is rendang has to be beef. You can cook anything. I'm cooking all kind of game meat, the red meat in Africa. Rendang. 
Yesterday I bought some kangaroo. I can cook at this time. For people who don't eat beef, they eat minced lamb. Because your timing is short, I do minced lamb is shortcut. When we serve this with nasi kuning ketan, not with the normal rice, but the glutinous rice. Okay? Now, after the sweetness, you cut down with the uh, vinegar. Vinegar. Mana vinegar? Mm. Okay. One? Yeah, try. Nice. You try. Is it, uh, where's your spoon? Put it back. I can't use it again. Mm. <laughs> okay. A little bit more. Yum. Okay, you. Now the last is the salt. Remember, this is in order. You don't ever do turn around this first, this last, this, and you never get. It will be endless. This is the salt. Yeah. Remember. Yeah. <laughs> I never believe it. Okay. Now even you pay. Maybe you can try and taste. Oh, and you want to taste? This is before I'm adding fruit on the taste book. I don't have much spoon. This is a taste profile before you add food. All right? The next what you do, this is for Indonesian. But if you want to do it for Westerner, you start with vinegar. You start with vinegar, with sour, and then you add the sugar. You turn around. This you can keep in the fridge for a long time. If you want to do sweet and sour, whatever, you just fry it with oil and add some little stock with some starch, then you make a sauce. So, so one thing you can do many things. Everyone can put their own starch. That is the principle. Remember sugar, vinegar, and salt. For Westerner, vinegar, sugar, and salt. Mana buahnya? So you just yeah. I add this some uh, pineapple. Any anything semi ripe uh, fruit you can add. Then you can you can keep this in the fridge for a couple of hours. You can keep it overnight. And some people use this. You stir fry it with the fruit, with some stock, some for the fish sauce. Uh, ikan goreng. Saus Asinan Jakarta. You have to be very practical when cooking in this uh, in this situation. The last one is nasi goreng. Ah, ah, ah. 
Sorry. Any question before I go further? Please ask any 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 question. Do you have any question? You can uh, I can I try to answer all your question as much as I can. Yeah. Who doesn't like nasi goreng? I think everybody like nasi goreng. But I want to share you a trick to make your nasi goreng my taste better. Don't dump everything and goreng. That's not cooking. Cooking must have a love of logic and love to cook. Not like, okay, I don't have time, never mind, and put it everything together and then two spoons of MSG inside, it's done. That's not cooking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you The ingredients is bumbu merah from Indonesia. This is grown in Indonesian soil. Remember, grown in Indonesian soil it make a lot of difference. And this is not hybrid. This is Australian, is it an organic chicken? Free range chicken, whatever. Okay. This is us. You can use chicken. You don't bring chicken oh, right from Indonesia. The leek, Australian, okay. The rice is Thai. And the trashi, definitely Indonesian, but this one from Lombok. All right. Do, do we have a lot of plastic spoon? Yeah. Okay. So what else? The ingredients. The tasting. Put this away. This is on condiment. You put ketchup manis outside with the uh, with dumping. You dip dumping. So when you when you cook a nasi goreng with uh, ketchup manis, you get this all over the sweetness and caramelization. I I don't like that idea. I want in your mouth segregation of taste. Here sweetness, here crunchy, here spicy, and all over. Uh, oil. We have to wait. Well, I don't know with this. Uh, I can get uh, enough heat. It did. No, no. Mm. When you do scramble, uh, you do you just you just do the egg like this, not total. So you have still have some partial of uh, egg white, not well blended. So I don't put I don't put any protein except the only uh, seasoning is the trashy. If you don't want, you want vegan and you don't have to do just just to use this, but the process first you have, you you heat up the oil very hot. Of course, it depends on what you have at home. You know what they at home like a Chinese restaurant, all right? So I try to make it very hot. So I only. 
So, if someone doesn't have uh, trashy, then you can use fish sauce. There are two types of fish sauce, the Thai or Vietnam. Vietnam, stronger. If you like stronger, then you do it. You always test. So this one is you you cook the coconut cream and the spice until start to separate the oil you put the meat the minced minced lamb Not hot enough. Because the wind. So when you do this, you just you have to scramble like a scramble. You toast the egg to get the first aroma from the egg. If you do the fries first, you put the egg. To, the egg is not express the flavors because it's mixed with the rice. You have to do this first. I'm cooking, anybody can ask question. No? It's not hot enough. But doesn't matter, I just show you the principle. If you want to do uh, with uh, shrimp, you fry the same first, half cook, never cook. Half cook and you separate, you keep the oil because the flavor is there. The chicken the same. Always have cooked. I want when I fry the, the egg, it's like this. I want until it has the uh, toasty aroma. Everybody can take spicy, yeah? Bisa pedas, yeah? Okay, good. That's what I like. Chili is good for your body. But not international. I'm, I'm doing... I'm... Uh, I'm appointed to do the menu for G20 for all the president on the 15th of November. That's the first request, no spicy. <laughs> Remember, we are luckier than the president. When we do the food for president, first, food safety. Second, quality, no compromise. We give the best quality, but simple. The more ego you put in, the more ingredients you put in, the chance of being rejected is higher because they will be tested by the, by the president's uh, uh, security. So this is very important when you do the VIP menu. Don't compromise with the, with the ingredients. But, and every piece of the meat has to look and weigh the same. Don't like the Biden having square meat and President Jokowi had the round meat. No. <laughs> Everything has to be the same. That's why it is costly. But who cares? For them, we have to do all the best.
Normally, I like more fragrant, but it's okay. Uh, everybody believe we, we ever use uh, rice from yesterday. Actually, the fried rice was discovered as the waste of rice from yesterday. They make fried rice. The same like the German make knudeln from the stale bread or fondue from all the stock of the leftover cheese they make fondue that was the beginning but now become the favorite now they make fondue yeah and because yesterday is the dryer so when you use a fresh rice for nasi goreng as soon as you take it from the rice cooker you put on the tray you blow it Oh, when this weather, you let it dry, let the moisture go faster. Have to do slowly. Semua. To, to stir the the rice until the rice be toasty that's that's why when you go to Jogja region or to Indonesia when you order fried rice you cannot order 10 portion in one go they all say wait you queue for 40 plate and they they make one by one Where's the trashy? Yes. Everybody can take trashy, right? Yeah. All right, good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but the end, they are done. I'm going to see up in Sendo Embaya. Yeah, machine. Bu Tati, kalau Mbak Tati, kalau mau ini uh, gorengin ini, the nasi gorengin and you taste. I like to have uh, ibu-ibu to help me to taste mainly the saltiness. I don't want to put salt in here. Because it's too salty and they always claim that I want to get married again in Indonesia. So I let the Ibu do. I will be so lucky to marry you. <laughs> okay, this is the... Yeah, you, you taste if it's in, not enough you you can add some salt uh, some salt. I want more hot but it's some salt? A little bit seasoning. Yeah. Hmm? No. Enough trashy? Yes. No. Yeah. Nada. Trasi enough. I would love more trasi. <laughs> you can. You want more trasi? Why not? Add some fish sauce. No. You can add some. Mm -hmm. Little more. Yeah. yeah. 
This is I'm not cooking with MSG. You don't have to use uh, MSG if you use uh, right ingredients. You have to have friend coming. You cook by batch by batch before they come, and then um, when they come in, just chuck in quickly in in the microwave. That's it done. I don't believe to cook microwave, but for certain reason, practical reason, uh, you can do. Nanti nanti will will this this. Silakan, Bu. Pakai itu ya, Pak. Pakai cabai yang besar ya, Pak. Campur. Siap pakai lagi. Bapak, mau enggak? Please. Soalnya satu mangkok. You want to test? Mantap. So, I have a question for you. Yes. It's a difficult one. What's the difference between blachan and terasi? Blachan and terasi the same. Pelacan in Singapore, terasin in Bahasa Indonesia. Pelacan in Malaysia. This is without anything. Eh? Oh, without anything. Only egg. Uh -uh. Jadi nasi dia pakai nasi apa, Pak? Nasi Thailand. Long grain, you can use it. Oh, enak, Pak. Nah. <laughs> Mau, Pak Kuncoro maunya satu malam. <laughs> Sendoknya masih ada nggak? Masih. Ada, ada, ada. Oh, ya. Pedes ya, terasa. Iya, hanya pakai garam. Iya. Nanti kalau mau pakai uh, kecap manis, cuma di, <laughs> jangan diaduk, nggak pakai. Indo yang beda. Beda, beda. How do you make the rendang taste like what does it consist of? Oh, the rendang taste you can buy like uh, it's already like ground paste. You can get in the market. Oh, like like here. Yeah. Ada dari Indonesia. And you can make it like as a rendang or any other dishes. Oh, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, hello. Yo, ini sendok mana? Oh. Oh, I just cooked it. Nasi goreng abang 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 Willy. Abang siapa tu? Nasi goreng kayak rasa nasi goreng abang 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 Willy. Kalau misal kita nggak ada bumbu merah yang nasi goreng yang dari Indonesia, kalau mau bikin sendiri itu apa? Cabe merah. Cabe merah. You can use fifty percent. Kalau satu seratus gram, lima puluh gram, tiga puluh gram bawang merah kecuali you don't have then you have to use uh, onion itu beda 30 gram uh, garliknya 20 gram that's it's about that nanti bisa ditambahin uh, 20 gram lagi ebi kalau mau pakai ebi mau lagi bu ya ketannya dulu apa soto bener dulu hmm. ya Oke. Okay. Sini aja ya. Iya. merah tuh pakai tomat ya, Pak ya? Enggak. Enggak ya. Kita enggak. Aja ya? Nah, bisa aja. Tama tomat, ya. tomato kecap. Ya. Pak, saya lupa 
merahnya itu apa ya? Cabai merah. Merah, bang merah, bang putih, eh, bang, eh, cabai merah, bang merah, bang putih. Ya, tapi yang paling banyak jawab ini. Paling banyak apa nyapa? Uh, Bawang putih. Paling paling banyak cabai merah. Kamu tuangin tak foto? Sudah tu, Thomas. Ya, ya, okay, ya. Ini tak foto. Kasih banyak kak. Ya, kan letak merknya tu. Ya, putar. Ya, itu lagi. Ya, ya. Wait. Ya. Berarti bapa yang nuan, aku yang video ini. Nanti ngomong dulu. Tak usah ngomong. Tak boleh ngomong. Dari kelapa juga, eh, minyak kelapa bu. Amat sate paling enak untuk fibernya. Bisa beli di mana pak? Apa nya? Nanti ada. Sisa belum belum ini masih masih bawa aja. Nanti bakal bakal ada. Ya, ntar sendok gar, sendok yang mana? Yang plastik. Ya. Nanti kalau mau coba sendok nasi goreng dari Palu dia Mongso. Jeruk. Iya jeruknya terpisah. Oh ya. Uh, kalau mau ambil nasi, nasi anu soto Betawi, silakan ke depan. Ini dia ada yang mau, ada yang mau. Serbisnya saya mau, ini gorengnya. Ibu dulu, Bu. Jadi bakok aja, Pak. Ini uh, jeruknya di sana ya. Eh, jeruknya di situ. Put, put. Apa, apa? Dede. Lagi gini foto ini. Ada yang mau lagi? Kalau nggak mau, ya udah pecah aja boleh deh. Kesin jeruk sama sambal. Oh yang ping ping ping. Ya bu, itu jeruknya jemping. Masih bu. Ada pak. Ya. Asinan Jakarta. Oh. Ini dulu mereka. Oh ya ya. Ini dulu mereka makan. Kalau sudah beri nasi sama petani. Mi, dah langsung. 
Hmm. Apa? Oh. Oh, ini kok ini siapa ini? Ini pilih siapa? Itu juruknya sama sambal Mau kecap silakan on Ini bu Ya, kalau ini ibu pakai santan biasa boleh silakan suka ini pilihan cuman kenapa belum mereka nanti akan akan ada sementara ya itu sambal sama jeruknya ya hmm? oh itu tuh nah. oke mangkok yang ambil sini nanti saya tuangin deh Kuahnya. Bifsticknya oke okay nggak? Hah? Suka ya? Ini <laughs> bu. Dikasih jeruk bu, sama oh, iya. sambal. paling belakang satu panci bawa pulang
Ayo. Ayo. Kalau udah nyobaan beef, beef chick ya, mungkin daging paha nggak ini, tapi memang mesti tempat tertentu ya beli beef chick. Tapi ada di mana-mana aku lihat ada. Ya. Buat ini beef chick ini cocok juga buat itu bu, buat sate padang. It's the best beef chick sate padang. Jangan pakai paha. Kalau paha cuma daging, nggak ada kolagennya. Kalau beef chick ini seperti jantung. Tapi jangan orang uh, westerner kan nggak mau makan jantung. Tapi beef chick nggak ada masalah. Thank you. Rasa oke. Okay. Butuh soto betawi suka. Iya. Ini cocok anu apa tuh uh, buat buat sate padang cocok banget beef chick. Bapak promosi begini. Ada CD CD enggak? Oh, ada apa? Promosi CD. Kopek disk. Oh enggak ada. Enggak ada. Nanti dari sini dari RMC akan nanti oh, ada okay, syutingnya. Okay. Kalau kalau di online ada. Instagram. Instagram. William Wongso. Ah. Ini saya mana? Saya dari channel 31 yeah. televisi. Mm -hmm. Bisa nggak saya ambil beberapa dari situ untuk disiarkan? Boleh. Bilang sama MBC. Okay. Ambil bapak minta. Pardon. Ya, masih pak. Oke. Okay. Nah, satu lagi terakhir. Kan, you promosi itu satu bumbu-bumbu. Kenapa nggak bikin bumbu sendiri untuk dijual? Saya bukan bikin. Kalau saya semuanya harus sendiri nggak. Ini ini misi negara. Nah, nah. Nggak, nggak. Ini ini misi pak. Misi dari kita memberi kesempatan semua produser untuk menjual bahan-bahannya. Okay. Ya. Soalnya di apa banyak sekali. Iya, iya, iya. Pasar. Iya, banyak. Oke. Okay. Ya. Terima kasih, Pak. Yuk. Oke. Terima kasih, Om. Sama-sama. Yuk. Jangan tutup mata. Ah, baru makan sih, Yuk. Iya masih. Ya bu. Satu dua tiga. Saya 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 tahu. Ya, saya dulu di Jakarta sering ke toko rotinya. Oh iya. Di... <laughs> Sudah nggak tertutup. Sudah nggak ada ya. Oke. Okay. Yuk. Terima kasih. Iya Bu. Iya. Sama dulu oleh satu lagi. Yuk. Ya, ayo. Ayo. Ya. Kita berdua. Kita berdua. Kita berdua. Dari Manado. Ini Manado. Saya Ambon. 
Masih suka. Beda style. Ya, Vietnam lebih strong buat saya. Tapi aku suka. Saya suka pre Vietnam. Hmm. Hmm. Pakai terasi, anak kami ada yang alergi. Kita ganti. Ini ganti visos, ya. Ya. Mari. Yuk. Oke, satu dua. Sekali lagi satu dua. Gantian. Yuk. Satu lagi pak ya. Ya. Bapak. Mari. Satu dua si. Masih ingat sama saya? Bentar Dibuka Ibu buka, saya nggak kelihatan Si, sebentar Ingat-ingat Gimana Ibu ya? Jakarta Bapak yang Bapak yang masak buat anak saya menikah Siapa? Yanti Abdurrahman. Oh, lu Yanti di di sini sekarang? Enggak, di Amerika. Di, di Amerika, Amerika, di New York ya? Iya uh, iya. Foto, ya foto foto. Nanti saya saya kirim ke teman saya, Anu Vera, temannya Yanti. Saya foto sama ibu. Ya itu masakan bapak luar biasa itu. Ini mari saya mari saya foto sama ibu. Mari saya foto sama bapak. Mari saya foto. Ya, bentar ya. Ya. Foto. Mari Bu. Lagi? Oke. Ya. Terima kasih Bu. Pak, minta foto, Pak. Jadi kemana ya. aja ini Pak? Saya tanggal tiga pulang. Iya. Ya. Oke, satu dua. Sekali lagi satu dua. Dah. Thank you. Ya, Pak. Terima kasih. Eh sini. Kena Bapak nggak makan? Udah dong. Oh, enak banget. Udah. Ya. Enak banget. Ya. Itu nasi goreng bisa gitu ya. ya. Padahal tanpa ini. Ya. Oh, terasi, terasi itu harus dipilih. Tapi memang orang-orang itu umumnya generalize. Ya pokoknya terasi gitu. Semua nggak tahu isinya apa. Oh gitu, jadi harus ada ini. Ya kan mesti sekarang itu kita tuh kurang menggalakkan GI pak, geography identification, terasi itu lombok, terasi toba, tobuali itu benar-benar harus tidak sekedar kirim terasi, nantinya itu harus daerahnya itu, nanti yeah. daerah yang punya tanggung jawab gitu. Oke, okay. itu maksudnya tergantung terasi daerah.
Gue ngomongnya di di Oke, oke Mai, inilah akhir dari acara kita pada siang hari ini, yaitu makan-makan. Tadi kita coba makan uh, soto Betawi. Ah, udah capek makan gue. Oh belum. Apa belum? Oh belum, oh belum bro. Hah? Oke. Okay. Kita tengah termaik. Tidak makan ni siapa? Kenaikan mana? Gak apa aku, gue tutup aja. Oh ya, kayak yang kuyar tu. Yes. Okay. Jadi dah makan. Okay. Akhirnya kita sampai di ujung penghujung acara pada siang hari ini, yaitu makan makan kita. Ada soto Betawi. Tadi makan apa, Vincent? Tadi makan. Tadi makan apa ya? <laughs> tadi, um, tadi makan nasi goreng. Okay. Terus ada soto Betawi. Sekarang ada nasi kuning juga. Oh, ketan kuning. Itu? Ketang, 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 ada, ketang. ada, ada ketan kuning juga di belakang. Uh, sama rendang uh, ke- lem, ya. Ada lem, ada lem. lem. Sama asinan Betawi. Oke, okay. demikian. Uh, kita tidak perlu berlama-lama lagi di depan kamera Kita mau menikmati makan yang disediakan oleh Om William Wongso uh, Demikian Sampai berjumpa lagi di acara Spice Up Melbourne 2023 Bye Silakan Bapak Ibu, masih ada rendang kambing, ada ketan kuning.